this is proven, absolutely proven. This new bunker method helps you get out every single time. So hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold Professional and welcome down to the channel. I know simply for a fact that bunkers are one of the shots that ruin your scorecard, leaving it in, thinning it, the long ones, the short ones, all costly, but you don't do anything about it. Follow these simple steps, short video today, but I'm gonna show you how you can get out of this bunker on the left, here on the 18th, and also this longer bunker shot on the right. So, first shot we're gonna look at is the short-sided bunker shot. The one we've gotta get it up and down very, very quickly, getting it high as we can. Now, I want you to firstly go and grab your most lofted club. For me, it's my 58, it, it might be 60 for you, or it might be even 64. For the drill, all you're gonna need is two golf balls. Now, the concept that I want you to get in your head straight away is we're not hitting the ball. Let me repeat that again. We are not hitting the ball. This is key. Okay, so place your first golf ball down the sand. That's the one you're going to hit. The second golf ball, all I want you to do right behind is make an impression, okay? And just put it in your pocket. That impression is where I want you to enter the sand, okay? So it's a big good focus point. Open up that club face, then take your hold. So your grip relative to you is nice and neutral relative to the club face, it's open, okay? Your club face is nice and open. We're gonna dig those feet in, get a nice stable base, making sure that ball position is sort of just a club head inside our left heel. And you notice, my stance is fairly wide. I want it to be stable and I want our lower half to be our rock and the upper half and our arms to do the work. Sitting down and putting our weight left, I'm letting my hands go with me. Now, I appreciate you couldn't do this part in a competition, but for the sake of this drill, I want you to do this. Get a bit of sand on your club head. I want you to take a swing back slowly and throw it over your shoulder. What you're learning to do here is, is just keep the loft on the club throughout the back swing, and then that allows us to enter the sand with loft and speed to give us some height. So really nice and simple. Can we feel as though we can imagine we're keeping that sand on and we're hitting that impression behind the ball? It couldn't be any simpler to get out. Longer, smooth swings rather than short, rush swings is where I want you to be. Here we go. Next up, the longer bunker shot. Now, there's, there's two options here. You could try and hit your most lofted club a lot harder. However, I think you're sort of opening up the fats and the thins a little bit more. I want you to then go down a club. So, my wedges that I carry is 58, 54, and 50. I'm going to go with my 54 now. But I'm simply just going to play the shot exactly the same. I'm gonna have a nice wide stance. My club face is gonna be open relative to me with a nice neutral grip. I'm gonna imagine throwing that sand over my shoulder and hitting it into the back of the sand. The idea here being is I can put the sort of same effort in with a bit of a, a lower lofted club to get the ball onto the green. Because think about it this way. If I open up a 58, that's probably gonna go something like 64. If I open up a 54, it's gonna to go to something more like a 58 slash 60, you know what I mean? You get sort of the, the impression of what I'm saying there. So make it easier for yourself. Then, we can pop it out, pop it on, and make these shots stress-free. Don't leave it in, don't knife it out. Make sure you lower your scores. Thanks for watching. 